What's going on everybody? How you guys doing? My name is Philip Anglade and welcome to FXPronoun.com. What we're looking at right now is EURUSD. When it comes to EURUSD, uh, what we called was the fact that back here we called this. Uh, we called the fact that this would push up to the upside and it would hit our take profit, which it did. It was um, it was about a 70 pip move, if I'm not mistaken, probably even more than that. Yeah, from down here it was a 100 pip move, but what we actually caught was from right here, which is about a 70 pip move, um, which is really cool. What I'm looking for is definitely for this continuation to the upside just for a little bit it's having a, a, a tough time getting there um but from point a to point b uh point c we have consolidation point two area i'm seeing for this to go up just a little higher and i don't know exactly how much higher from there let's go to the h4 time frame um this oh you know it's pretty interesting um from point a to point b right here um, price has already got into 38.2 so there's no actual reason why this has to push up to uh, to this negative 27 percent there's no there's no reason why it has to okay um, but this is kind of in the same boat as AUD USD if I was to go to the weekly time frame I'll see the fact that there is a level of support that has been held based upon this weekly time frame so I am looking for price to get to 38.2, and I'm almost sure that it, it, it from here it is going to. It's having a real slow time to get there, right? So when it comes to this consolidation area, it's it, there's no like it's going there now. There's no way I could be able to tell you it's going there now. Um, if you're looking to be able to get into a trade that is more of a swing trade type mentality. This is probably one of the best places to be in uh, to be able to just get that swing all the way to the upside to that 38.2. Uh, what we see here is the fact that we have this being hit over and over and over and over and over and over again. This is probably the, one of the slowest ones um, for the push to the upside, but I am looking for this to push to the upside. But again, there's no real reason why price has to push up right now. Okay, so. This would be the type of trade where um, to get to the real take profit, which is at 38.2 based upon the weekly time frame, is going to take a, a while. Um, and there's no real way I can be able to say, hey, listen, it's going there right now. But um, for this to get to at least here, <laughs> I could say, OK, you know, it may get there. Um, but again, there's no like it has to get there. It's in a consolidation area. This is probably not the best pair to trade. But if you do not mind waiting, I don't even know how many weeks. Because as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 weeks it's been in this area. Okay? Just to get a little, you know, 400 pit move. You know, I, I don't know. I'm going to just hold my trade. Because I see it getting there, but you know I, I don't know how, how long it's gonna be. I'm gonna do like that, All right? Um, so just for now, it's it's it found a level of support, which is cool. Doesn't mean anything. Being the fact that it's in a level of consolidation based upon this higher time frame, it could take as long as it wants. But at the least, I am looking for this to push that at least to this negative twenty-seven percent. At the least, this little thirty pit move. I don't even think it's worth it. To, um, to to guess, all right. But as far as the lowest that should go, I see I, I see this as the lowest that it, uh, price should add to, all right. So um, let's go ahead and proceed. So that's fxpronow.com. My name is Philip Anglade. Check out our five-step system to become an FX Pro now. If anything, go ahead and check out our AUD USD uh, trade, our USD JPY trade, or our GBP JPY trade if you're looking for any type of updates on those, all right. Thank you.